Cracking is considered to be an elimination reaction because it sees us starting with a saturated compound and ending with one or more unsaturated compounds, which is roughly the definition for an elimination reaction. There are two types of cracking. The first type is where an alkane is broken into a shorter chain alkane and an alkene or number of alkenes. As an example here we have pentane that under the right conditions is broken into a propane molecule and then because there is now a shortage of hydrogens the shorter chain in this case the ethene forms a double bond. So the first type of cracking is where a alkane is broken up into an alkane and then an alkene. The second type of cracking is where an alkane is broken into one or more alkenes and hydrogen is produced as a product. So as an example here we have hexane, the alkane, that can be broken in two ways. The first way that we've shown here is where it breaks into two molecules, each of them forming a double bond. And then because there are now two double bonds, it means that there are excess hydrogens. And so we say that hydrogen is produced as a byproduct there. The second option would be for hexane to break instead of into two pieces, but to break into three two carbon chains, three ethene molecules, which then, because of the, sh the excess hydrogen, then produces two hydrogen molecules. It is not possible, it is not required for you to be able to determine where the break would happen. Normally what would happen is a question would say something like hexane is broken into prop one in and then you are asked to identify what the other products are. So it is not necessary for you to be able to determine where it is broken or in what form the cracking takes place. That will always be made clear to you. All that you need to know is that there are two ways in which a molecule can be cracked. That is either into an alkane and an alkene or into alkenes and hydrogen. The conditions depend on the type of cracking. The first type is known as thermal cracking and that requires a high temperature and a high pressure. The second type is known as catalytic cracking and that requires a catalyst.